We are now going to demonstrate software package management from a graphical interface using the OpenSUSE Linux distribution. The tool we want to use for doing this is YAST, Y-A-S-T, and there's two different ways I can reach it. If I have the GNOME shell extension installed, which shows the applications menu, which doesn't come by default, I can go down to systems tools and then go down to YAST. Or I can always go up to the upper right hand corner, click on the tool icon, and then at the bottom here on the system, click on YAST. It will want the root password because I'm going to manipulate what's installed on the system. And so if I go to software, I can go to software management. Now the first thing that YAST has to do is study the system and get a database of every possible package. So it, you can look at the packages on the system in different ways. You can look by what's called RPM groups. So here's all the games on, or grouped under amusements. I have applications, development, and all different kinds of development subcategories, tools, documentation, etc. Or RPM groups. That is RPM groups. Okay. Yeah, pa or I can look at package groups, which maybe is a little more intuitive. So I could click on, let's say, multimedia and see all the different programs that are involved in, uh, in dealing with multimedia. Suppose I want to install something or inquire as to where something is installed. I can click on search and type something in here. I'll type GNU plot. And I bring up quickly all the different GNU plot uh, pro programs there are. The main one you see has a check mark in the box. That means it's already installed. Um, I will decide to install GNU plot doc, which is a small documentation package. And then in order to do the install, I will click on accept. And it will go ahead and do it. It's a pretty small package. It doesn't take long. If it needed some other packages to function, it would have installed them at the same time. So now I'll say continue. And if I can want to remove it because I don't really need it, I'll type it that in the search again. And then I click on here um, until I get an X for removal. And then I say accept. And it's removing it. And so that's all I had to do to do some basic package installation and removal under GNOME software with OpenSUSE. Pretty simple.